Hey guys, so recently I got actually quite a few uh, emails regarding how to write a VBM automation to merge multiple CSV files together. And so I took some time and to write the uh, VBA automation. So in this video, I want to show you uh, how to write a VBA macro to basically merge multiple CSV files together into one table. And so here's my uh, my folder. So waiting my here's a dummy folder that I created, and let me make the icon a little bit bigger. And in this folder, I have multiple CSV files, and I also uh, mix up with some uh, text files. So here I have a junk text files, and I have uh, four CSV files, as well as a master Excel uh, workbook. And what we will be used as like a template for you to put your CSV data into the Excel spreadsheet. So let's uh, so let's first of all go into the uh, Excel file. And before we begin, there are a couple of conditions that I need to be aware of. When you merge uh, your CSV files into uh, one table, the column numbers must be the same. So for example, let me open the CSV file. And here in uh, this, in the four CSV files, I basically uh, divide the, the CSV files by product. So based on column K, the product line. And when you try to merge the file, uh, the column numbers must be the same. So here I have 14 columns and and for each uh, CSV file in that folder, all the data or all the uh, data sets are all contains the same number of columns. And the column name is not important as long as uh, your default column names uh, are correct. So here I put my default column names in the uh, master Excel file. And I call this uh, table merge table. So here I have a merge worksheet and let me uh, out of fit the columns. So here are my columns. And when I merge my files, basically I'm going to just ignore the, the column name, and which is the first row. And I'm basically going to just copy and paste the uh, data set from each CSV file one by one together into the merge uh, merge worksheet. So let me let me close the CSV file, and let me open the uh, VBA window. So you can use the, the shortcuts Alt F11. And here I'm going to uh, create a new um, new module, and I'm going to name my subroutine uh, merge files. And here I'm going to create a uh, outside private variable. <clears throat> so this variable will be uh, shared within all the uh, CB, uh, VBA subroutine within this module. So here's my uh, merge worksheet object variable. And here I'm also going to create a row insert uh, variable. So the row insert variable is going to tell me, okay, in which row that I can uh, insert my data set. Here I'm going to create a constant uh, for the path variable. And here I'm going to grab my uh, folder that tutorial and copy and paste over. And make sure that I have the uh, four slash, backward slash at the end. And we have a couple, uh, I'm going to create a couple more variables. So file name. I use actually I don't need file names. I need the files uh, variable and the uh, temporary workbook variable. So it's workbook. And I think that's uh, we everything we need for the variable aspect. And now the first step is I'm going to uh, create my uh, merge worksheet object variable. So here I'm going to set. WS merge is equals to this workbook dot worksheet 
and here I'm going to provide the washing name. Imagine that you will use this uh, Phoebe automations maybe on a weekly or daily basis. And so before we want to merge the files, we need to clear out all the records on the merge worksheet. So here I'm going to create a private subroutine and I'm going to call this clear uh, merge worksheets. And here my last row available. So with the uh, WS merge watch object, here I'm going to find the last row number and based on a count eight, so rows counts in count eight, and from the bottom to the top, that gives me the row number of the first uh, not empty uh, cell value. Of I mean not not cell value, the row value. So here, uh, I know that in column A, the order number is a required field. So therefore, I can use uh, column A to determine the last row number. And if, if 2 is greater than the last row uh, number, then we can assume that there's no uh, values or data sets in the merge worksheet. So we can just X out this uh, subroutine. And otherwise, we're going to clear out uh, all the records from A2 to the last column, in my case, will be column N, and all the way to the last row of value. Okay. And here I'm going to add the uh, creating my uh, Washi Merge object, and I'm going to call the clear merge worksheets and subroutine oops there's a typo should be clear and here i'm going to uh, assign two as my starting point for the row insertion now we're halfway there and now the next step is we need to uh, iterate all the files actually all the csv files uh in in this folder path right here and the reason why uh, I mix up with some other um, file type like uh, uh, .txt or the Excel file type is because I want to show you guys, you can actually specify uh, which file type that you want to iterate. So here, uh, within my folder path, and I can't, I want to iterate the uh, all the CSV file. So here I'm going to use the wildcard symbol and uh, CSV. And now if I, I put a breakpoint here and if I just press F5, and if I hover my mouse, let me just step to the next uh, line. And so the DIR function will uh, gives me the, the first file name that it found. So in this case will be classic uh, car.csv and here we want to loop uh, each csv file so I'll do uh, I'll use the do until uh, statement so do until files is equals to uh, uh, empty string and to move to the uh, next file here we'll assign the files variable with the dir function so I can uh, assume this should be okay, dir function there you go and here I'm going to create my uh, temporary uh, workbook object so here I'm going to open the csv file so here's the, the file path files And within the uh, workbook temporary, I mean WB temporary workbook object. So here, uh, the workbook temp uh, object is uh, associated to the the CSV file that was just open from this line of code right here. And here we can do anything we want with the CSV file. So, but in my case, I only want to copy paste the. Uh, 
uh, the data contents. So here I want to find the last row number and based on column A. And again, okay, so I want to copy from range A2 to end of our last row of the table and copy. So let me uh, indent this. And we'll copy to the uh, WS merge uh, file, actually not file, worksheet. So the merge worksheet. And here we can uh, copy from, sign from um, column A and of the rows insert available. And I'm going to use uh, paste special as value. So I don't, if there's any formatting, I'm just going to ignore the, the formatting. Okay, and once the copy paste action is done, and we can close the uh, the temporary workbook. So here I'm going to turn off the alert first, so we don't get any notification. And I'm going to set the save change property to false, since we don't want to save the uh, any changes that we made to the CSV file. And I need to turn the display alert back on. And the next step is we need to uh, update the, the uh, row insert variable. So row insert plus last row minus one. So this will be, so the row insert will update to the uh, next available uh, row number that you're going, that this, uh, the automation is going to use to insert the, uh, the data set. And once everything's finished, actually, I want a not I want a notification, and so I'm going to use a message box and give me an indication that uh, file merge complete. And cool, and that's it. So now if I uh, close the VBA window, uh, if I uh, just go to view and macros. So here I have a, so if I run the merge files macro, oops, there's a, uh, oh, there's a typo. Actually, no, I didn't declare this uh, last row variable. So let me do that right now. And, okay. And let me start over again. So if I go to view macros and run the merge files macro, oops. Uh, let me see, last row. Oh, I know why. So right now it's still waiting to watch the workbook object. And so actually we should be really uh, pointing to the worksheets. So uh, it should be worksheets one. Okay, because uh, in CFC file, this can, this can only be one worksheets so I so therefore I can also uh, use the index of one to indicate the worksheet I want to extract the information and I hope this is the uh, the last uh, issue so now, let me close and let me run the macro again oh this is the um, CS file Cool, All right. So this time uh, the macro ran successfully. Now, if we just take a quick look at the data set. So here before I, uh, I, I set a border, I'm going to remove the borders and I'll put the grid line back on. So if I uh, apply the auto filter and here I should have four product lines. So classic cars, uh, motorcycles, trains, truck, and buses, which is going to match to the uh, the four CSV files product that are seeing the this uh, how to merge multiple CSV file folder. So yeah, so this is basically the uh, Phoebe automation that I want to show you guys today in this video, how to basically quickly merge multiple CSV file uh, into Excel. You can use this automation to merge 
as many CSV files uh, as there is in your folder. So if you have like 100 CSV files, then this Mac will basically array all 100 CSV files and copy paste them all together into uh, your Excel master worksheet. But just be aware of that. Uh, there's a limitation on how many rows I think you can uh, insert in Excel. The last time I tried to uh, insert maybe more than a million rows and Excel gives me the, uh, the error message saying that I exceed the limitation. So this is everything. And I hope you guys found this video useful. If you like this video, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.